What's up Boost Junkies, Eddie Rocksteady with Comp Turbo Technology here. We're talking turbos, specifically oilless air cooled. We'd previously spoken about the oilless turbocharger in another video. That turbocharger was water cooled and this is the air cooled model. The air cooled model is a niche solution for very specific applications and in today's video we'll be explaining those differences and why you might want to consider the air cooled turbo. Stick around, check this out. Oilless air cooled. As the name implies, it's oilless and air cooled. What exactly does air cooled mean? Well, as you may already know, we do have an oilless turbocharger, and that one is water cooled. It's got the two 3 HMPT ports on either side of the cartridge for water cooling, and that's a great alternative to a conventional oil lubricated turbocharger. We've previously talked about the advantages of an oilless turbocharger. Those carry over into the air cooled with some added benefits. You no longer need any kind of plumbing at all. No oil, no water. And what that does is further free up your options for mounting solutions for your turbocharger. Now, when it comes to the oilless turbocharger, that's great for anything mounted directly to the engine, runs on street applications, runs on a petroleum-based fuel, and that turbocharger won't shrug at all. Now, the air-cooled model was made as a solution for those compact applications where you have no room under the hood where you would prefer a mid or even a rear mount application or in the bed of a pickup truck. In those instances, plumbing any kind of fluid to your turbocharger can be some cumbersome work. The air cooled was designed to be a solution for those applications. We don't recommend the air cool to replace a conventional turbo combination. The air cooled is instead designed specifically for these kinds of applications where it's mounted externally and has access to some ambient air to stay cool. For a conventional use application where it's going to be engine mounted, we'd recommend you stick with the water cooled. The water will maintain the temperature of the cartridge and expand the longevity of your grease. But if plumbing water to your application is a little difficult, i.e. mid or rear mount combinations, the air cooled comes in to save the day. The oilless air cooled turbocharger can be easily identified by the billet aluminum center cartridge, which houses our proprietary triple ball bearing combination but the lack of 3 8 MPT ports for water cooling, because again, this is water cooled. So in place of that, we do have the Zerk fitting over the top for re-greasing because our oilless turbos are grease lubricated, but it has these fins on the side to identify it as an air-cooled turbocharger. You'll notice there is otherwise no kind of port or access on the cartridge for any kind of fluid to get in there. Now, oilless turbochargers do inherently have their benefits. Like we previously mentioned, Oilless turbochargers help get rid of a lot of the issues that come from a conventional oil lubricated combination. They won't leak, they won't smoke, and they give you plenty of mounting options as well. Sometimes your oil carries material like piston and bearing ring material that'll eventually eat away at your rotating assembly, opening up the clearances and causing leaking and smoking issues. For our racers, if you ever blow your engine, a lot of that material winds up inside of the turbocharger and can completely destroy your turbocharger. In an oilless application, that's no longer the case. As long as you keep up with maintenance, the lifespan of the turbocharger is indefinite. We recommend, for most typical applications, re-greasing your turbocharger every 3,000 miles. And there's no need to remove or even disassemble the turbocharger to do so. As long as you can access the Zerk fitting on the top of the cartridge, you can put seven to eight pumps of grease in it to fully fill it. And don't worry, there's no harm in overfilling it. In fact, overgreasing the turbocharger will simply push a little bit of that grease into the turbine side and it'll quickly and easily dissipate into a very, very thin wisp. The only harm comes in undergreasing it. So we recommend seven to eight pumps of grease every time you fill it to ensure that it is in fact full. Now, the air-cooled turbocharger does again differ from our conventional water-cooled option in that it needs no plumbing at all. So you can mount it underneath the vehicle, behind the vehicle, or even in the bed of a pickup truck. These mounting options are a little more niche. And if you need help deciding as to whether or not one would work better for you, you're welcome to call in at any time and we'll happily answer any and all questions for you and help you decide which turbocharger works best for you. The air-cooled combination is available for any and every turbo combination that we offer, any size and any turbine housing combination as well, T2 to T6 and V-band in a few different sizes. Again, don't hesitate to call in. I'm Eddie Rocksteady and I'll happily help you out.